human being have been trying to understand motion the behavior of moving bodies for centuries the man the first man who seriously started this conversation was aristotle who was born in greece this greek philosopher was born in 384 bc in 350 bc he published a book called physics he explained described in his book the behavior of moving bodies for example when a body is rolls on a horizontal surface it slow down and aristotle describe or explain is slow down because is get tired and he also explained the behavior of falling bodies and uh, he explains that the falling bodies falls with the speed proportional to their weight of course this understanding somewhat false understanding but it took uh, mankind more than 1900 years to prove that the aristotelian physics fundamentally wrong that object in motion do not stop just because they get tired that falling body do not fall with the speed proportional to their weight so it took human over 1900 years. The first human who flew that stood along was Galileo. So, we're going to start our conversation with Galileo. And the another person who kind of helped us further our understanding, advance our understanding, was Sir Isaac Newton in 1642. So, Sometimes God behave in a very mysterious and uh, exciting way. The God filled the vacuum created by the death of Galileo by giving the bath of Sir Isaac Newton. Today our views, not Aristotle, but today our heroes are Galileo and Sir Isaac Newton. So let's start our conversation. We're gonna start our conversation with reference frame and then we're gonna then I'm gonna help you understand few other things the direction the scalar and vector quantities then I'm gonna talk about speed versus velocity then I'm gonna talk about acceleration it started with reference frame when we talk about reference frame we are talking about measurement we need reference frame to, we have to state our reference frame to start the measurement. If you do not have reference frame, you cannot measure anything. So reference frame are like a geometric axis, uh, who is from where you can start the measurement. What do I mean? Let me give you an example to help you understand what I mean. If I do, right, Mary's height is 1.7 meter what's wrong with this information there is a fundamental wrong to this statement because it doesn't even make sense but his height is 1.7 meter with respect to what with respect to the floor he is standing or with respect to the high heel he is putting on you have to state that if you do not say that his height is 1.7 with respect to the floor he is standing okay or you have to mention that with respect to the high heel he is putting on. So you have to be specific, meaning that you have to state your reference frame. Let me give you a second example. I was in the morning taking a train. I was sitting in the first compartment and the train was moving 50 meter per second and I saw a man was moving uh, in the train two meter per second. All right, inside the train, a man was moving two meter per second. Now, a few question I want to ask: the velocity of train, velocity of train with respect to with respect to train, 
with respect to train. Number two, velocity of velocity of man, velocity of train with respect to ground. Number three, velocity of man with respect to train. And number four, velocity of man with respect to the ground. The answer would be different. The velocity of the train with respect to the train is zero. The velocity of train with respect to the ground is 50 meters per second. And the velocity of man with respect to train is 2 meters per second. And the velocity of man with respect to the ground is 50 plus 2, 52 meters per second. Let me give you a third example so you understand what I mean. The third example, uh, let's, this time I'm going to have not only one reference frame, I'm going to have multiple reference frames so that, uh, so that you understand it, you have advanced understanding. So let's consider three reference frames and let's first draw it. Fifty, uh, 50 meter per second and uh, the plane is moving this way 200 250 meter per second 250 meter per second all right this is the information now I'm gonna have a man I'm gonna have a man sitting outside the car I'm gonna have the same man sitting inside the car not moving the, the man is at rest all at all three reference frame the man is at rest but the man is on the ground the man is in the car the man is inside the plane now what I want to know I want to know a few things I want to know the reference frame one reference frame two and reference frame three few things I want to know number one I want to know the velocity of the ground let's make ground green let's make ground green and the man blue all right the ground is green um, so the ground is green oh the ground is green all right ground is green okay because we're gonna make ground moving soon so ground is green so what is the velocity of ground with respect to the man the ground is stationary and man is stationary so the ground is ground is stationary man is stationary so the velocity of the ground with respect to the man has to be zero okay so let's do one more thing the velocity of the car and the velocity of the plane so now we are doing right here we are right here we are trying to understand when he take out his ruler and his measurement instrument how he perceived the car moving he perceived the car moving 50 meter 50 meter per second to the west and he also perceived the plane moving 250 meter per second the scenario will change right here now we are, we are right here now he is inside the car he is sitting inside the car the velocity of the ground the velocity of the ground with respect to him or with respect to the car or with respect to him so the velocity of the ground with respect to him he is in the car so velocity of the ground with respect to him of course is 50 meter 50 meter per second 50 meter per second but 50 meter per second to where to the to the east if because he he perceived that everything is moving moving at opposite direction trees cows on the field moving moving away moving to the opposite direction okay now what is the velocity of the car with respect to the hit with respect to him of course is zero and what is the velocity of the plane with respect to him let's draw the arrow this is this is the velocity of the ground so velocity of the ground let's make the velocity of the ground green the velocity of the ground green and let's make the velocity of the plane the velocity of the plane is uh, red already so since these two are of the same direction we're going to add them up so this is 250 and this is 50 so it's 300 is 300 meter per second to the east all right now we're going to go 
now we are here, right here, scenario right here. Right here. So the man is in the plane right now. So what is the velocity? What is the velocity of the ground with respect to the man? Now man is measuring the velocity of the ground. The velocity of the ground is, of course, the velocity of the ground is 250, 250 meter per second to the west. Okay, so then we have to draw that. Okay, 250. This is 250 now. Okay, now let's see the velocity of the car. The car is moving this direction. So we're going to add them up since they are both the same direction. So 300, 300 meter per second to the, to the west. And what is the velocity of the man with respect to the plane? Zero meter per second. Now we're going to talk about the direction. Our second topic. 